all right what's going on everybody welcome to today's video before we get started i just wanted to say me and my brother will be going live watching um i know what you did last summer and scream next weekend friday at 10 p.m so be sure to clock in on that but today we're actually going to go through uh why you should still collect domestically and i'm just figuring this out now because I kind of stopped domestically collecting movies and I was always on like Vinegar Syndrome and Shout Factory and and that was about it for a while, honestly. Like, I mean, there they they was rare that I would buy a movie that was not a part of a boutique label for a little bit. And so this is kind of me getting back into it. Um, and I kind of wanted to start off with this one because, oh yeah, let's start off with this one because um, it, it's in my opinion what I think Shout Factory should have done with the 4K, you know, gave it way better packaging than what they did, just a normal slip cover. But um, it's Natural Born Killers. I got this at Dollar General for like, I kid you not, like $5. Um, it is the Blu ray, I don't even know what to call this, but it includes the original theatrical version and unrated director's cut. Um, and it comes in this style packaging where it opens up and you get your you get your discs and you get like all that cool stuff on there that Shout Factory just kind of said. Uh, really, bro? I'm serious right now. Whatever. All right. Yeah, so this release is... Uh, way better than the Shout Factory release. It makes it look like Shout Factory didn't even try with this one. So I highly recommend if you could find this anywhere, picking it up. It might be out of print though. I don't know. I usually get lucky with what I find. Um, another cool addition is the, uh, what is it, Media Books. The uh, This is for uh, Shawshank Redemption. You open it up and then back here is a whole little like uh looks like 30 <clears throat> about 32 page booklet of just of just details on the movie and all that and then you and then you get all this cool stuff like all this artwork and it just looks great in my opinion better than the uh standard little 4k they gave us but you know that's up for debate honestly i would like buy the 4k and then switch the Blu-ray out with the 4K disc and put it in this release and just put that 4K case in the closet. To be honest, because compared to what I'm seeing here, that's uh, that's nothing. So, um, and these next two are just kind of random tossed in, like uh, obviously just to kind of show you some stuff that might not be a boutique item, but is. Uh, still why you should collect domestically so and the two best examples the two best 4ks on the planet so far avatar and avatar way of water dude they know what they're doing with these 4ks man i don't ah they they know what they're doing with the avatar 4ks they look so good that's another reason why you should collect domestically now they have collector's editions out now for avatar one and two and i do plan on getting them but um i do have to wait because i'm not the richest person in the world so but i will get those uh or maybe just the first one for now i don't know the second one kind of didn't need one yet i feel i feel like that was kind of rushed for the second one but the first one definitely needed it with the uh upgraded 4k of the director's cut and all that it looked really good it looked nice i'm not gonna lie to you um i think we get into some box sets real fast um uh one of which i just got today um i finally got back into it i will if you see it now but the halloween box set uh the freaking steelbook box set for the trilogy this is the only way that i would i, I remember saying this 
that if I was to own all these in 4K, this is the only way I'd do it, is if they came together. And then they came together. And while I think the packaging is a little lackluster, I do like these Steelbook box sets that they put out. Um, I only have this one, though. I don't even have the uh, Indiana Jones one, which is one that I would like, but I just feel like $99 for one extra movie is a little bit kind of, you know, choppy. Like, I, I'd, I'd settle for, like, this was 60s. This was like 70-something dollars. I would settle for that weird but i i would this this bad boy is still on amazon i hear people talk about it all the time i think you could see it but if not um i'll go to pull it out it's the a nightmare on elm street box set this was one of the first box sets i ever got um which made me want to start taking collecting movies more serious um because back then i just buy like 50 plus movies and watch them and just be like, all right, this is cool. This is uh, this is one of those releases that they gave the full treatment to. It's unfortunate that we're not that we're getting the first one only on 4K. I feel like a box set like this would be awesome for the series, even if it still had like the same like booklet type or like the opening, whatever these are called, whatever these cases are called. Um, yeah, but. They're coming out with, they're supposedly coming out with the first one this year on 4K. So I guess that's, that's some sort of hope that we can get the rest of them. But yeah, this is, this is a box set worth buying if you haven't already bought it. Um, all right. Yeah, and it is on Amazon, still available. I, I might leave some links in the description. I don't know. I'm kind of lazy about that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, that's still available. Um, and then another one that I just, this is the one I just got today. I literally just got home with it is the Scream original trilogy box set. It comes with obviously Scream 1, 2, and 3 and the Blu-rays as well as two documentaries, which I don't remember what the documentaries, uh, Still Screaming, The Ultimate Scary Movie, Retrospective, and Scream, The Inside Story. So those are the two documentaries that come with this box set. And I believe there's, uh, uh yeah, there's extra, actually, I can't tell. Oh, uh, they come with a ton of special features as well, is what I'm trying to say. Although the box is a little flimsy, it's one of those flimsy style boxes, but you know, there's nothing we can really do about that. It's still a great box set and kind of, kind of really still worth owning. Uh, if you, it's actually cheaper if you buy this than buying um, all three of them separately. And it also, shit, uh, it also saves shelf space. I don't know what that, that mouth motion was. Don't forgive me. <laughs> golly yeah but i can't wait to put that on top of the shelf man uh that's gonna be fun uh seeing how that goes so yeah i i recommend getting that scream trilogy 4ks i haven't watched them yet either so i can't really tell you but i do know that that's a definite reason to stick around because just for the simple sake that it's scream um and i might do a, like a part two to this of like box sets and stuff like that that I still want um but I don't know yet I have some stuff in my uh, cart but I can tell you right now it's going to be about a big year before I have all of them um all right up next on the list is I know what you did last summer this is just another one that I didn't get the slip cover for it whatever 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 I didn't get the slipcover for it, but this is one of those ones that I, oh shit, that I know is going to, that I know is just worth owning on 4K, but it's a studio release and it's not a boutique release. It's just, so, I mean, this is the only way you can get it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The only way you can get this. And I'll probably get that Blu-ray steelbook. This is actually really smart of me. 
and I'll probably just like take both of those discs out and I have this little folder down here and I'll just put those discs um, in there and I'll just put these discs in the steel book and then I got the 4k uh, version the 4k steel book of I know what you did last so so that's so that's probably what I'll do um, with that um, this next one is a box set style release it's one movie but it's kind of box set ish it's um, the house of a thousand corpses um, again with my religious background it's kind of a shame to hear me say that but to put this on the list but I just can't help it I actually I actually do enjoy this movie and I, while I do not like the director's beliefs and such I I I 100% uh like this movie that's a weird statement considering what I just said but I still think that for a, a movie looking at it as it's a movie I think it's really good and I think this box set is beautiful so um and Rob Zombie had nothing to do with this box set so whatever trying to fit myself so hard you get but you get like scripture here almost why did i say it like that you got script uh screenplay uh little notes and just pieces of the screenplay and you get a poster and a freaking booklet uh i think it's an artwork booklet but you get all that and this was way cheaper than what a boutique label would sell it for i know that for a fact um yeah that was like that was literally like maybe forty dollars would have been like ten dollars more um another line that i really like but i don't know if they'll continue it is the icon editions this is my favorite one as far as uh quality of the 4k so that's why i chose this one but i think my favorite movie in the line is the flash though to be honest I thought the flash was fire, but this is, this is another one of those style releases where you pop it open, get out of there, pop it open. And then, you know, it's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I do it like that. All right. All right. Next up on the list, we're almost done here. I know, I the, my videos are always so freaking long, I'm sorry. Unless you like that, and that's fine yeah, as well. Um, this is the Lionsgate exclusive Steelbooks. Now this is the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, but a fun fact about this, I've probably said it before, but the, the digital copy is the 4K of the movie. So um, technically you get Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K on this release. Um, and it's very much worth, uh, worth getting either way, even if you really can't live a life without putting the disc in, um, which in my case, I am a collector of movies, but I am perfectly fine with, um, not putting the disc in at points, but just coming in and looking at my shelf and just looking at what I got, seeing what I want to pop in. That's, that's always the fun part about movie collecting. It's like, oh man, my collection is beautiful. It's more beautiful than me. Um, and these these steelbooks are really nice to me too. Um, the Shutter steelbooks. Uh, that's what I'm referring to them as. Skin of Marine and Deadstream. I don't have the HS uh, 99 steelbook because I don't want it because I have the I have the regular VHS 99. So I'm I'm perfectly fine with. Um, Um, I'm perfectly fine with uh, that for that, but for these were must owns with the four, with the Blu-ray steel books. So these are, I, th I guess that whole line is Blu-ray steel books, except for a couple actually. Now that I think about it, there's a couple of good little four Ks uh, in the Shutter category. Um, but this is probably uh, my favorite steel book out of the lines. Um, it's the Fright Night steel book. This this. This has the most special features. It beats any of these movies in special features. I think this has like 12 hours of special features on here. And that is more than Avatar's special features. 
or it might be the same amount, but this this is very close to the most boutique, non-boutique thing you'll ever see. Um, uh, the 4K is good. They have like a 7.1 track on there. I'm like, why? I'm <laughs> like, ears about to be bussing, bussing. Um, and the packaging is really nice. The only issue that I think me and a lot of other people have is that the Steelbook doesn't have the name on the front, like anywhere, like not here or here or anything. It's just on the side, but that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Um, next up, we're gonna look at the Vestron video line real fast. And we'll get back into Steelbooks in a second because uh, I actually have two more here um, and that will end us, that'll take us out. But um, my favorite in the line is Steel Dawn. Um, that's probably a very unpopular opinion. Um, but to me, this is my favorite, Steel Dawn. It was a first time watch for me. I put it in, I was like, uh, dang, this movie kind of, I watched the trailer, I was like, dang, this movie kind of reminds me of Dune. Um, and then I watched it and I was like, oh hell yeah, this is, this is, better than that in at least in my opinion and i love that movie um next up let's talk about uh super eight i also just got this one as well uh i bet a lot of people didn't even know this existed and if they did and they didn't get it what's wrong with you um this is awesome this looks great in 4k um i was super shocked um and it was just a good time all around casually i mean I think J.J. Abrams' mind is honestly built differently. Like, I don't think I've ever seen somebody come up with such ideas in my life. Uh, but I love Super 8. Uh, and it's the 4K. And it's a high recommendation for me. Um, I think it's still available on Walmart.com. So you should definitely look into that. Um, and then the last one, this is my favorite steel book hands down it is the bullet train steel book 4k walmart exclusive 4k steel book it comes it, the only steel book that i have that contains art cards and they're all like really nice i think i think my favorite one's coming up yeah there it is that's my favorite one um um I'm sorry, I'm freaking shuffling all the cards around and all that. Um, yeah, I don't really care for that one. But it's just all the characters uh, from the movie um, that were on the train. And I really, I really enjoy these art cards. They're so weird though. Uh, some of them kind of are weird, I don't know. But this is my favorite steelbook out of the line of steelbooks that I have. I just wanted to show it off real fast. But yeah, this is a big reason why I feel like people should still collect domestic releases. Because, um, and then also, I, I didn't want to pull it off the shelf, but the Evil Dead group collection is another reason to, and the many other releases, like the Steelbook double pack and all that. I feel like all that is just enough reason to freaking uh, still be collecting domestic releases. Look it up there and see if there's anything else that I'd like to show, but I don't, um, personally, my collection in the domestic area is small. That's why I'm making this video so that I can get you guys back on it. And also so that I can continue forward with the plan of kind of almost a fully domestic year. I mean, I know there's gonna be some boutique stuff that comes up, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be slim on those. And I might wait for sales, to be honest, uh, because boutique collecting is honestly really expensive. So um, some of these, some domestics are expensive as well, but not as expensive as like Shout Factory charging $35.99 for one movie. Um, that's probably not even worth it. <laughs> well, that's not true. That's not true. I forget I said that. But I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, man.